For most of us, the holidays are at a time to gather with friends and family, sharing gifts and a meal. But for older adults and homebound seniors in our community, this season can be an especially difficult time. And that's why Meals on Wheels people is working harder than ever to make sure everyone is taken care of. And joining me live now is Tony Stacer with Meals on Wheels people. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time this morning to talk about this. Of course, thank you so much for having me, Travis. December is a really busy time for everyone, but in particular us, um, as we're trying to connect with all of the seniors that we serve during this, you know, what can be a really emotional time uh, for our clients. Typically, you know, the social isolation piece is detrimental to them, but at this time, it even is exasperated. No doubt, no doubt it is during this holiday season. Talk about the, the, the mission and, and kind of the nitty gritty behind what Meals on Wheels people really does and, what, and why these donations are so helpful. Sure, so the organization we've been around for a little over 50 years. We currently serve 7,300 meals per day via, you know, those meals are delivered to our seniors um, by about 450 volunteers each day, Monday through Thursday. Um, Pre-pandemic, we were serving about 5,000 meals a day. Um, as of this week, 7,300. So the, the growth and the need has really increased over the past two years. And you know, luckily, thanks to the community support, we've been able to uh, meet those needs. In addition to the food that we're currently serving, um, we are providing supplemental food to all of the seniors who need them. So it's been, um, I think, a real bonus for the, the clients that we serve and being able to have the extra nutrition um, since they're unable to go out and about, you know, to go to the grocery store. Some, something so simple as, you know, going to the store to buy extra goodies for you know, in particular, the holiday season. Yeah, well, and then there's so many different ways you can help. You know, you can either uh, volunteer and deliver meals, but there are also other ways. I know you have the Friendly Chats program. Talk about other ways that people can help, or, or even if it's just a donation. So, of course, donations are wonderful. Uh, they get put to absolutely good use. Uh, equally important as us providing nutrition and delicious food to the seniors, we, uh, we offer that connection uh, to really combat social isolation through our Friendly Chats program. And the way the program works, um, we have volunteers who sign up and they are connected with a senior that is enrolled in our program. And they call the, the senior once a week and just have a casual conversation. So the conversation may go from, two minutes to, uh, you know, I probably not on a regular occasion, but a couple of hours. So really depending on the mood of um, if, if one of our seniors is really talkative that day and the volunteer has time, it can be a really robust conversation. And they're talking about their kids, their grandkids, you know, what books they're reading, maybe what shows they're watching on TV. So it really provides this, uh, sense of uh, community and connection between the, the two parties. That's, that's great. I mean, you can, of course, always donate financially, but being able to donate your time is, is just as valuable a resource in moments like that. That's, that's, that's wonderful. Uh, how can people get involved? You know, if they want to volunteer or if they want to donate or, or be a part of the Friendly Chats program, where can, where can we send them? So the best uh, way to connect with us is on our website which is mowp.org. Um, and you can volunteer or donate on the website. Uh, for the Friendly Chats program, there is a volunteer orientation that one uh, we ask people to go through. It does take a couple of weeks to get that set up. So if um, is anyone is looking for a, a new volunteer opportunity for the new year, we absolutely need more volunteers to help us with the Friendly Chats program. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's, that's where you can go yeah. if you want to be a part of the Meals on Wheels people. It's a great, great cause. And Tony, we really appreciate you taking the time this morning to try to get the word out there. Thank you so much for being here.
Thank you. And we wish everyone a happy holiday season. Happy holidays. Right back at you. And for more information yes. on how you can help Meals on Wheels people, we do have that link posted in the AM Extra section of coin.com.